on today's episode of Dude, Where's My Emoto? Saunders has been hitting back and doing some corporate strategery to fight back against the, I guess, the losses of cancellations that they've been having, waves of cancellations that they've been having, and we get some updates of a couple things and also some not so good things. So in order to look into the future, sometimes you have to go in the past. And that's coming up. What's up guys, this is Herve from Herve's World, showing you that IT means I try. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to subscribe. So on this channel, we do unboxings, this tough support, life hacks, actual hacking, and tech reviews of your products. Now today, we're going to go through a couple things that I found some conflicting messages from Saunders as of late. We're also going to see what they're doing on the front of fighting the social media backlash that they've been having and the waves of cancellations that have been going on. Are you still a holder? Well, we're gonna discuss that today and we're also going to go in the past because sometimes when you're looking into a new relationship with somebody, you gotta look back and talk to the ex-boyfriend. Talk to the ex-boyfriend to find out how this person reacts in certain circumstances. Sometimes they repeat the same kind of cycles that you have to pay attention to. And anything we discuss in this episode, you'll find right on the bottom right of here. Do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe. Oh, we're going in the weeds today. We're going in, I wanna say is, there's been a wave of social media, I guess, uh, counter attacks that Saunders have been doing. They've seen, uh, we've seen them go out with the triple bikes, the white, the black, and the silver, out and about to try to get some social media presence out there. And, as of late, that's actually good that they're doing that, but they're still not talking to us. They're still not addressing us. And I'm starting to see a pattern on how this company seems to be working, and we'll go into that a little bit later. Uh, we also got a release of an electric motorbike designed from Adventurous Freedom Seeker in you. 2022 orders reopened for a limited time to meet strong and growing demand for Metacycle. We have expanded the 2022 production capacity order to take advantage of this finite opportunity. Now, don't be fooled by the smoke and mirrors and the pretty wording here. The problem with this campaign is they're not meeting the deadlines that they set forth. It's been pushed back two times already, and the June deadline has just surpassed, and the waves of people are abandoning the platform. They're going and canceling their orders for their motorcycles. So all you're seeing here is a, a, a re-dipping of resources for them to gather and grab new people that don't know all of the history that's going on and the drama that's going on right now. So caveat emptor buyer beware just know that this is opening up because of the waves of cancellations that they have now let's keep reading and see what else is uh truthful or not don't delay don't delay bikes will be shipped out on a first come first serve basis order today to secure your spot in line well when people cancel the queue they get out of line, they get their money back, and then the people on the bottom move up. So they already have an order for a bunch of bikes from China. They've already been created. They're on shipping containers. So it's a smart move for them to actually be doing this because they're going to recoup some of the loss. They may not get everybody that they had, but they'll recoup some of the loss because of the closed window that they had before. Now, they'll get new people that don't know the details. So make sure you research the company, look what's going on. The Facebook groups are invaluable for how they're being treated, how they're treating their customers. Let's keep going. So important note, due to the unprecedented demand and unpredictable shipping setbacks, that is true. That's a true statement here. 
The demand, I don't know. The unpredictable shipping setbacks is the truth. Saunders is currently unable to specify an exact schedule for 2022 shipping. That is probably the most honest thing on this page. That's what they really want to push out here. All order holders will be notified immediately with a more precise shipping estimate. Tax, shipping, and white glove delivery fees are not included and will be charged separately. They didn't include that before. They made sure to put this on there now. So people were saying, hey, why am I getting extra shipping? Why am I getting the $700 white glove service? And now they're putting it out there. This, at least it's an effort for them to be a little bit more upfront and truthful with their people. But I'd say listen to 30% uh, of this. The shipping and unpredictability of the shipping setbacks, that's one. Um, it's not that there's a growing demand for the motorcycle. The demand is there. People do want the bikes, but people are canceling in droves. So just take this with a grain of salt. All right, let's keep going and see what else we have here. Now, they also, for a couple days, they had a uh, something on their webpage. Actually, they got emailed back to certain users. Here is our refund policy. Deposits are refundable for up to 30 days after you make. Once you convert to an order, sales are final. Now, that not how it goes. If you don't get the product that you're promised, you're supposed to be able to get it back. But just know that they were trying to combat the canceling of order. So this is what we're here. If you're interested in having your Metacycle purchased, refunded, you're gonna to have to contact Saunders Customer Service directly. Keep in mind, however, that if the funds have already gone towards purchasing your Metacycle, then a refund may not be possible at this time. Don't fall for that. Now, I'm gonna put the phone number to Saunders um, Customer Service right here on the bottom, just so everybody knows if you're, uh, I'm looking forward to this product, but I think you have to look at the details of what's going on here in the past. So we're gonna cover a couple things just so you can see how they deal with relationships. You know how you have that bad girlfriend or bad boyfriend. If they're bad with you, they've probably been bad with other relationships that they had. They're probably treating people, if they cheated on you, they probably cheated in the past. And those behaviors that are like in their DNA seem to be recurring and we're gonna cover that in a couple minutes. I went back and looked at other campaigns that they had. Now, Saunders had a $10,000 tri car. I wouldn't say it's a car, it was more like a three-wheeled motorcycle. And if you just go back and read some of the things that they're saying, and I'll put this up here, just so you can see, it may lead to an indication of how and why we're being treated the way we are and what it may look like for us in the future. So they had a bunch of people that gave $1,000 deposit for this car. And here are some of the comments. He did not deliver on the electric car. Now, four years late, and nothing produced for his customers. And they're referring to the Saunders um, Electric Car Club. I'm gonna include that Facebook uh, post here on the bottom. And it gets, doesn't get better from there. Another post is saying, is anyone from Saunders reading these posts? You suck at communication. This is from May 23rd, 2017. And we're seeing some of the same behavior that's going on. And it hasn't changed. They haven't learned. They haven't grown to be more effective communicators. So let's read into this. Now, from that post, it says, you suck at communication would mean that there has been some communication, correct? Or, or let me repeat that. To suck at communication would mean that there would have been some communication, correct? Note. They raked in our cash and abandoned us. Sound familiar? I would respect them more if they just communicated, thanks for the cash. That, that's hard. Um, and then somebody says, uh, whole thing is a scam. And this is talking about the three-wheeled vehicle. So let us keep going. Uh, another comment back on May 22nd, 2018, this states, 
Back in 2017, I have invested in the Saunders Electric comp Car Company. The investment was made through a start engine. Uh, since then, I have never heard an update from management. I wish I could get some update if my money is safe or should I forget it. That was another comment on May 22nd for the electric car. Now, another comment states, update, why did you introduce an electric moped after we invested in a car? Which means they took the money for the car. Saunders took the money for the car and then didn't release anything for up to four years. I still haven't seen a vehicle out in the world. And they probably flipped that money for R&D for the electric bike. So, for the electric moto, for the motorcycle. Really, really cold and shady uh, behavior here. But, let's keep going. Next, it states, where's the car? Bicycle and motorcycles? Come on, what type of scam company is this? Lousy communication department. And then it goes to say, if this wasn't the first time I lost $100 on a scam, but I would certainly hope it's the last. So let's keep going and digging deeper here. Now, let's see. So you stop communicating with those who put their faith in you financially. What are they? Oops, we couldn't do this at this time. Sorry, our bad. No one wants to say. So essentially... This is the same kind of behavior that's going on. Feels like our car investment went into developing the motorcycle. My guess is to help the funding of the car, maybe. But you can see how same type of behaviors that we're going through with the motorcycle. And we have another one here. What happened to the EV? No communication from this company. What gives? I want my money back from the 1K reservation PR price. So you can just see the behaviors that's going on. Um, another thing that, I are, that people are canceling their orders. Yes, it's good for the company if they fulfill the orders that they made because there's an investment there, but we're just a number to them. If some people are gone, they just go out and reopen the ordering service. They reopen the queue to get more people that don't know the problem that's going on to take over those bikes. So it's pretty shady. I, I'm not liking how the company's doing business in the past. So I think I'm gonna have to come to a decision to pretty soon to figure out what I'm gonna do. Am I keeping or am I getting out of it? A car holder and you're still waiting for your car and haven't received it, do me a favor. Let us know in the comments, what should we expect? You guys have been there before. Let us know what we're gonna go through on the Metacycle Run. Now, for you guys at Saunders, bravo for thinking outside of the box and reopening the orders to fulfill the ones that have been leaving with people canceling. Bravo, bravo. But I gotta say, shame, shame, shame. Shame. I will catch you guys on the next one. Do me a favor, hit that like, hit subscribe. It's gonna be a bumpy ride, folks. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.